The sun was out, but heavy conditions greeted two injury-hit sides. No Josh Morris for the Bulldogs, while the Bunnies were missing Sam Burgess, Scott Geddes and Ben Lowe in the pack. Rusty, though, took his place in the ANZ stands, his team on the back foot early. This guy carrying the football, he's just awesome. Idris, look at this shove on Rex Weathers. <laughs> Danny Glover, you've been face-planted. While Jamal was looking dangerous, neither side could hold the ball. Repeated knock-ons, keeping the score level. Canterbury, the side looking most likely to break the deadlock. It's the ball at the back to turn a great defence. Talanoa. Idris was winning the battle with Greg Inglis. The big centre deadly down the right-hand side. He's over the line. Can he get it down? The Dogs looked a shoe in to open the scoring, but as so often happens, one good play changed the game. Sando, Sutton, quick hands, English back to Wesser. Wesser for the corner. The big three involved. Reese Wesser tiptoeing his way in after a set play revolving around Inglis. South 6-0 after 23 minutes. And after Michael Ennis was penalised, Chris Sandow added another two. It looked like Souths would keep Canterbury scoreless at the half before Jamal finally crossed. Idris from deep. Jamal Idris. It opens up. Idris showing up Inglis's lack of pace as the Dogs made it 8-6. And two minutes later, Bryson Goodwin stunned the Rabbitohs faithful. Keating. Just puts it high. Wes has got some work to do. He can't do it. And Bryson Goodwin has stolen the ball out of the air and stolen the lead for the Dogs. Disbelief from Souths as they went behind at half time for the ninth consecutive game. As they did in the first half, Souths came out firing after the break. They went to the air three minutes in and came up trumps. Goodwin's lost it, did. Merritt get it down, he can score a try, Nathan Merritt. Nathan Merritt given the benefit after a remarkable effort. The local wildlife not too impressed despite getting a bird's eye view. Merritt on the spot for that one and finding himself on the end of a miracle play five minutes later. Crocker takes it out of midair, flicks the ball back to Farrell, he throws it back to Sando and Nathan Merritt has got himself a double. 18-12 bunnies and didn't the fans love it? The dogs needing to hit back. Chris Keating exploiting some weak defence from Wesser. And Chris Keating gets his second try for his new club. The score's all tied up with 20 to go. Dave Taylor held up by six desperate dogs on the right-hand side. The bunnies just as enthusiastic in defence. Oh, what a tackle, Roy Azatazi! South, the first to think field goals. Sandow putting them one up with 14 minutes left. Idris breaking the bunnies open and handing it off to Steve Turner. Turner, Wesser, he takes him on a race. Wesser comes up with a try saver and maybe a match saver. He was very deep there, Reed Wesser, and now he goes to the bin. Wesser taking an early shower. South's facing 10 minutes with 12 men. They lasted 30 seconds. Keating, now Barber, chance. And it did. A try on debut for Tim Laffey. Andrew Ryan rubbing it in in the final minute as Canterbury made it two wins to start the season. The final score, 28-19. Another tough loss for South Sydney. Will McCloy, Big Pond Sport.